Woo! Let's do this. Last week I gave you an introduction into the how and why we are doing it and I believe today we are going to start just doing it in hopes that everything is correct and the first thing I'm going to do is measure out all of these panels because some of them are slightly longer like six millimeters longer than the other ones Okay, so these here are the slightly longer panels. Those are the ones that are supposed to be mounted uh, with a fan in, in the middle. And all of this is just construction. So we have the 300 by 300, the 69s and the whatever the hell this is. Okay, how will I mount A to B? So this is the bottom of the whole construction and this is going to go here. How will I mount A to B? So, okay, I know these here are 65, so what I can do to help the bottom construction where the PSU is going to be is to cut off exactly 65 millimeters of this one and then four times and then position it on every edge of this panel. That should give me the help needed to mount down the bottom. Yeah, let's do that. I know this is not meant to be used for what I'm about to use it, but I don't care, to be honest. Precision work. The big one is too thick, right? Yeah, I would love to use this, but I think this one is too thick. Yeah, it's cutting everything but what it needs to cut. So, back to the wrong tool. And if I didn't do my job totally wrong, this should now be identical. Plus minus. It is identical plus minus. Oh boy. Anyway, so this is the bottom plate. This is one side and I believe I can just mount this down like this and basically call it a day. Just let me think. Should that be mounted on the outer edge? Yes, yes, this should definitely be mounted on the outer edge. And therefore my piece of wood is now slightly too long. Great job. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it should have the right length. And it does! Yay! Should I do all four corners? Or just two? No, let's do all four corners, just to be sure. <sighs> Great, now let's glue something. I, I'm done with cutting for now. So, this is supposed to go on one edge and this onto the other edge. And I, I mean exactly on the edge. So I'm not only going to glue it to this but also drill it just to be sure that this really never falls apart. Question now just is do I glue it first or do I drill it first? Okay this time I'm going to do it. We are going to glue the two corners first because this yeah in theory it takes about 15 minutes to be somehow strong and I need to do that in order to be sure that once I put the screw through that the whole thing doesn't like move and that I'm really on the corner. So let's do that. Yeah, they don't need to be strong, they just need to be strong enough for me to drill them down. Looks good so far, so let's just put this aside. And in the meantime, I will cut the last two of them. Without cutting my table. And the last one, which is exactly one thick, one wide. Great. And in case you're wondering, the whole thing is going to be made out of MDF, which is like compressed dust, if I'm not mistaken. And the reason we are doing it out of MDF is because it's dirt cheap. Though everything cost me like 13 bucks. Uh, and that's with cutting. So uh, it's maybe not like the best quality material, but it's great to like for structural strength, like big ass car subwoofers are made out of MDF. If MDF can do these use cases, I'm sure it will also do whatever the hell we are doing here. So let's glue the last two in place. And maybe I will just put something underneath it so that the glue doesn't drip on my table. So I guess now it's time to just wait. 
essentially until the whole slime or we need to find out how to say that in english but until cola per lengno originale great uh, until the glue is all dry oh it's already a bit and once the glue dried down i will drill a bunch of screws through the four yeah it's not really legs but like suspensions and then we proceed by slapping the next part on top yeah that's that's the plan but it will take like 15 20 minutes so see you in 15 20 minutes well, that was a long 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, I guess these are now... Oh, they are pretty strong. They are really strong. But I still prefer to screw them in just in case. So let's just pre-drill like the smallest freaking hole that I can do, which is already too big for these tiny freaking screws. So let's just straight up drill the screws in there. Okay, so this is still the bottom. Looks great so far. Uh, where we have the thin pieces. So one thin piece is supposed to come on like this. And the long ones are supposed to go on to the opposite side like this. So far my measurements seem to have been accurate. Which makes me kinda happy. So let's start off with this piece. And, and here because the whole thing already has some sort of like structural strength. I can glue and screw them in on at the same time, that should be fine. I just want to place all of that onto something so that I don't make any mess on my table. Do I have screws that are like short enough? No. Don't I have like... Smaller screws? Nope. No smaller screws available. These here are like 30. A bit too long. I need like 25s. Do I not have some random ass screw? Well then it needs to hold on like this. Next step would be the big one. Well, that's unfortunate, but that's how it's going to be. You know what? No, let's let's leave it here. I will go and buy shorter screws, and then I will be back next time with shorter screws so that we can like screw all of this in correctly. And that's that's how we are going to do it. Otherwise, I just I won't be happy with the result. But so far it looks good. This is supposed to come onto the other side, and then we have another 300 by 300. No, this is the wrong one. Yeah, those are the long ones. And then we ha have a 3x300, three which is going on top here, like this. And then we have space for the PSU in the bottom. But uh, I think we are going to finish that on the next episode. For today, I'm going to leave it here until I have longer screws. I don't want to, you know, screw this up. This needs to be perfect. So it's going to be for the next time. So thank you for watching. I know this doesn't look like a PC yet, but it will, oh, it will never look like a PC. It will look like a fan benchmarking box. Uh, but that's for the next time. For today, this is going to be it. Thank you for watching and hope to see you on the next episode of whatever the hell this is. <laughs> see you. Bye-bye.